So now we're going to get a chance to actually use these modes of working to try to produce something. So this is exercise one, and we're going to look at a case study. And the case study we're going to look at is up to you. So what I'd like you to do is to find an algorithm or system to analyze. So you can take uh, any known algorithm that's working, and if you want to, you can take, a, let's say, some machine learning algorithm that you know about. Maybe you're a, you're a student in machine learning and you know of a particular uh, NLP algorithm or some uh, face recognition algorithm or some use case. And you can, you can sort of have a you know, fake scenario if you want. But ideally, it would be great to take an actual algorithm that's operating in the world. So do a little research and find one. And it can be one that has had problems in the past, but I, don't, I want you to not focus on, on those problems. I want you to look beyond that if they have had problems. And I want you to research the system and identify at least one risk, okay? So you need to find uh, one potential risk. So this could be a reputational risk. This could be a compliance risk. This could be a safety risk and maybe more interestingly, an ethical risk. Um, so identify at least one risk due to the use of this system, whether it's the system itself, some sort of bias or some misuse, okay? So research that and find one of these. I want to use supporting evidence for why you th think this system has that risk, okay? So there needs to be um, some supporting evidence for why you think that exists, either it's some historical example some uh, research paper that talks about a particular failure mode in this algorithm and now you see it in this new use case and therefore you think there's this risk that could occur. Or maybe it's some inference that you're making based on some special knowledge that you have. So find that supporting evidence. Uh, I want you to find and research a potential solution to either test uh, to, in order to find that risk, let's say it's something that you think may or may not happen, but there needs to be testing to figure that out, you need to propose a method for testing. Um, or if there's a known risk or you think you're pretty confident this risk is going to occur, how are you going to mitigate that? What sort of uh, governance structures or what kind of processes do you think is going to uh, mitigate that? And then I want you to write up all of this into a very short, so ideally one page, uh, but you can go up to two pages if you want. But I'm trying to force you to be really concise here. One, two pages max summary of this. And so what does the summary have to have? You have to describe what the risk is, okay? So first you have to describe what the system is uh, in order to describe what this risk is. So you need to have a, some context. Who is affected by it? So this is the stakeholder case. Um, as a bonus, you, you should also identify sort of what rights or interests those stakeholders have that make this a risk. You need to describe the mitigation strategy or the testing strategy. Um, and then importantly, you have to describe how that's going to be implement, implemented in that particular organization. So if it's a hypothetical organization, you're gonna have to give some information about what that organization is like. And if it's a real organization, you know, do the research, figure out is there a way, do they have structures already? How would you actually implement that solution in a practical way? Do they need to hire new people? Do they need to have new data sets, new testing? Think through that process. I want you to give me as references, okay? And hyperlinks are okay. Um, I want you to put your logo on this. And so the reason I'm saying this, if either if you have your own company or if it's just your name, I want you to package this and think about this as a product. It's a one or two page summary of a risk for a particular system. And if you're right, this is a valuable document, okay? So I want you to put your logo on it. I want you to put a copyright on it, okay? This is your work, this is the way you're, this is your research, your intellectual property put a copyright statement on it and produce a PDF document. It doesn't have to look beautiful, um, but you know, package it as a PDF document. Again, one or two pages uh, maximum. And then you can submit this uh, via the Google form 
and uh, we'll take a look at it. And next week, uh, we're going to start talking about specialized skills. So we've talked about the sort of the real foundational global skills that you need. There are also some specialized uh, skills that are really useful and, and uh, important for AI ethics and governance consulting.